Welcome back to the Rescue Bot Season 4 party. <laughs> And we have a cadre of directors with us here on the couch. We have uh, Frank Squalacci, yeah. <laughs> Patrick Archibald, and Kevin Altieri. Yeah. How are you guys doing this morning? Fine. Good. Doing having great. fun at really the kickoff here? We're having a blast. <laughs> no. You have to wake up Saturday morning, come to a party. That's the best thing. Oh, I mean, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cybertron parties, the best. Yeah. So are you guys series directors? Has it been specific episodes? Um, what do you do for the show? Uh, they divide the show up to th three directors, and we just do them in order. You know, every, I do every third, or however it sets up in the schedule. And uh, but we all interrelate with each other's shows. The sh you know, as you can tell, it's all the characters go from one show to the next. Mm -hmm. So it's it's fun. We do episodic, but we we also involve each other with everyone else, else's shows too. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of back and forth between the different directors. I mean, we have to know what's going on in the other shows as well as our own. So there's a lot of back and forth, and we deal with the studio up in Vancouver that does the animation. And then we get the boards down here, and we have our fun with them and notes and <laughs> so on back and forth. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a collaborative process. So. Yeah, no, and it's like in the writing is on this show. It's actually some of the best I've run into in a long time. Uh, the frustrating thing about it, though, is that like this pantheon of characters interacts, yeah. and so you can't just go and do your show all by yourself because mm -hmm. everything like hooks up with previous seasons and previous. Connects. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So you've got a spider web, and if you pluck a thread, God help you. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's what makes exactly. it fun, I think. You know, because you can you can actually follow that thread all the way and start at a point and, and see where characters grow up a little bit, a few years older. You know, that was fun going from one season to the next. Keep you on your toes, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I did want to see more Mr. Petty Paws. <laughs> <laughs> that was Kevin's the cat guy on the show, so I'm the, I'm the dog guy. I would watch an episode just following the life of Mr. Petty Paws. Yes, I'd be do. down. More yeah. servo. More servo. I'm a, I'm Always a, more I'm servo. I'm a dog guy, so yeah, more servo. There is a divide on this couch. <laughs> I'm glad that we're just separating here. So, on the director side of things, how has the show evolved over the past three going into four seasons? That's a good question. I mean, initially, you know, it's it's a show for kids but we don't want to play down to the kids and whatnot but um there's a fine line with the storytelling so that you, you have to be pretty direct you don't want to leave them hanging or get get them confused so there's a specific way of the storytelling where uh, a lot of shows would uh, do a lot more moving with the camera and, and third person povs we do a lot of reciprocal kind of camera work and stuff so that the characters we know where the kids are going to be looking and kind of leading them we still try to keep it very cinematic as you can tell the show we just saw it very cinematic it, 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 that was a film it, It'd be amazing. So we approach it with a f filmically as a film director, with the, with the uh, consideration of a, it's a children's show. We don't go full. There's no laser battles or big, but but it, right. those shots, <laughs> but the angles of the cameras are there. So um, yeah, approach it filmically with keeping in mind it is a children's show. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's got to be exciting. Epic cinema for children, and the parents can sit there and watch it too. No, I completely agree with you. Yeah. Well, that's, that's why I think it's been so yeah. successful, because like Kevin said, the parents can sit and watch it and enjoy aspects of it that maybe the kids aren't getting, but there's some little nods <laughs> to the parents. <laughs> there, so. I just wanted to say about the fan base, because like, I go down to Comic-Con, and i have known for doing like a bunch of other cartoons. You mm -hmm. know, I've been doing it for many years now. And uh, I'll be introduced about doing Batman or whatever, and people are like, hmm, you know. This year, it's like people are like, oh, that's, that's, that's really nice. You did that, you did that. And I said, what are you doing now? Well, working at Rescue Bots. Rescue Bots! <laughs> <laughs> and like all of a sudden, it's like there's a crowd of people like, really, you did that show? So thank you to all the fans out there. It's like, and it's really great because it's, I love the fact that it's like kids and their parents are equal fans. And it's like something that everyone like really sits down and enjoys together. It's yeah. awesome. Well, then there's people in our age group. We yep. don't have kids, and we love this uh, and show. And it's my so excuse fun. when I'm babysitting yeah. to just put the show on and be like, yeah, they're not paying attention, but I am, though. We're well, <laughs> like, fans of the show, too, and we're on it. So, yeah. honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah honestly. That's Actually, that's <laughs> interesting, because so the thing is, like, I'll look at one of these guys' episodes, mm -hmm. and I'm totally entertained. And it's like, and it's no matter how many times I've seen the storyboard or whatever, because, you know, you're doing the production, we're all in the same area together. But when I see the final show, I'm totally entertained yeah. by it. And it's like, and I just really enjoy it. And then kind of like when I saw, saw this show today, it's like, it's been months since I've seen it. Because these guys have been, you know, like Pat has been, and uh, Nicole have been husbanding it through, you know, <laughs> post -process. Post, the post-production <laughs> process. I haven't seen it for a long time. Mm -hmm. 
And it's like, actually, I'm like, oh, nice. <laughs> it's like I, it's like all those things that I that you know I thought were going to be uh, difficult to get through. It's like man, they made it you know they made it happen. So and the other big thing I think that really sells the show, is, in addition to the writing, is the voice you know talent. Oh, of course. I mean the yeah. characters are so rich and, and and they have so much fun outside and beyond the, the show sort of thing on a, on a personal level. And you can really tell the camaraderie and the crew all together. I think it's probably the best. It's, uh, it's a know, family, family, family yeah, family in, in the show, family outside of the show. Yeah. You know, I consider all these guys family or, you know, right now it's, it's you know, the, the height of my career at this point. Haven't worked with any better people ever. So, uh, vo voice. Well, there it is. There's the collective. I was waiting for the collective awe. The collective awe. <laughs> World's best family reunion. <laughs> well, before, well, before we wrap up, since um, we were talking about episodes, what is your favorite episode that you guys have directed? From Ooh, season wow. one to now or through the end of season four? Gosh, oh man. the inter introduction on the third season of the two new characters, and 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 mm -hmm. uh, and with Quick Shout, I think I, th I think I did yeah. those episodes where I did all three of those as introductions. So those stand out as uh, the new guys coming in. It's always fun introducing new people. Yeah, where do you guys so. see Quick Shadow? Yeah, oh, we're yeah. so excited. So excited. You have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Always, and then, then like uh, the the episode that uh, Brian mentioned. There's a very kind of. Frank Capra-esque uh, kind of touching one coming up. It's uh, yeah. really a, a real sweet uh, kind of tugs at the heartstrings sort of thing. So guys, I'm seriously. Like and there's a giant baby coming. Oh. Gotta love the giant what? baby. What? <laughs> Katie, you okay? <laughs> I just had some massive zombies ate my neighbors nostalgia here. So <laughs> that tells you when I grew up. Thank you guys so much for joining us. It is an absolute blast. Well, thank, you right. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.